Fifty years ago, the conviction of Gordon Liddy and James McCord Jr., both helping hands of President Richard Nixon, started the media tsunami that went down in history as the Watergate scandal. FBI officer Liddy and the CIA's McCord Jr. were convicted of conspiracy, burglary and wiretapping of the Democratic National Committee at the Watergate Hotel in Washington. They were part of a group of seven men who broke into the offices to get first-hand information about Nixon's rival, George McGovern. After that scandal, media has never been the same. That's what John Dean, a former White House legal advisor, says. In the bigger picture, what would happen dramatically changed, and forever, the coverage of a president of the United States by the media. Pre-Watergate, presidents were given the benefit of the doubt. Post-Watergate, presidents are not given the benefit of the doubt as they were earlier. They really have to virtually prove their innocence. The Washington Post first reported about the illegal wiretapping against the Democratic candidate George McGovern. The U.S. and other countries found out that even the biggest democracy of the world was not immune from illegal electoral behaviours. Even after the indictments of Liddy and McCord Jr., the press continued its heavy coverage of the Watergate scandal. You could use words as weapons to create change, but that has changed. It, it, words are not so powerful as they used to be. I think it's partly because there are too many words. Because of the, the internet, it's, it's like walking around in the middle of a big stadium and you're talking without a microphone. The Watergate scandal shook public opinion and eventually Richard Nixon had to leave office on August 8, 1974. I shall resign. The, the scandal changed U.S. politics forever, leading many Americans to question their leaders and think more critically about the presidency. In this office.